it's something else I want to talk, to, talk about because I, I, I'm really on this kick right now. Be great where you're at. Mm -hmm. Right where you're at. Be great. You yes. don't have to be the president of a, of a company. VP stripes. You mm -hmm. don't have to be in that perfect position that you always dreamed about before you decide, I'm going to give it maximum effort. You right. told us. Past the New York bar, I went back to New York and I sat with Ed and Reggie and I'm making $250 a week and I am in the equivalent of a broom closet. Yes. But in that broom closet, that's where you started doing your thing. And can you just speak to anybody who is giving a half-ass half -ass effort because they might not be in the position that they want to be in. So they're like, yo, I don't even want this job. I'm just doing it for a paycheck. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to give it 120% because it's not even what I want to be doing right now. Can you speak to the importance of going hard right where you're at, being great right where you stand? Yeah, 100%, man. I think, I think it's really critical because it goes back to your faith and, and your belief in what you want to be. I think it's really critical that anyone in life, in any endeavor you, you, you choose, you really take the time to think about and meditate on the fact that, that this is what you really want to do, right? In my mind, I had always wanted to be one of the greatest lawyers ever, right? In my mind, you know, this was during the Johnny Cochran era, right? When I, the OJ Simpson trial was, was going on when I was in law school, right? It was my third year. So I had seen some of the best lawyering, in my opinion, that had ever existed, you know? So I saw Johnny give his, you know, his cross-examination and his, 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 his uh, closing statements, uh, closing arguments. I saw F. Lee Bailey give his cross-examination. Um, Robert Shapiro played his part. He just sat there and didn't do, you know, he, he, he you know, had the client together, him and, and Robert Kardashian, right? There was a team effort and I saw that. And then I also knew, I also had, uh, knew Willie Gary. Willie Gary had, had, had done with his Wings of Justice. He had also made an important impact for civil rights. And people, you know, he was fighting for people's civil rights. People have been, um, injured uh, for pers on personal injury cases you know, on a mass, on a major level. So those guys were extremely like, you know, inspirational for me. And I wanted to be, you know, seen in that light. I didn't care where I got in. Like, and that's to your point, like, you know, the circumstance did not have to be, you know, I did not, in my opinion, I did not need to sit in um, some big office overlooking some, you know, um, you know, some amazing park or anything like that. I just needed a chance. And I was going to be the best person, lawyer I could be. And that confidence, so what I did was I did, I did things that I knew would raise my confidence. I would go to court for any and everybody at the time. I knew I wanted to be a great lawyer uh, and that was the backbone of it. I promoted the fact that I was an entertainment lawyer, but more importantly, I wanted to be an amazing lawyer. So, you know, people would call me, I would have clients that would call me and they'd be like, hey man, um, I'm a producer. Um, I, can you do my producer agreement? I would say, okay, cool. I would do their producer agreement because that's what I was learning to do. But then they may also feel comfortable and be like, hey man, yo, my cousin just got arrested. Um, we don't know, you know, we don't have any, we need a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Can you, you know, go get them? I'm, and I'm like, well, how much money you got? Now, now mind you, they only had, I only had, I uh, was getting on like $250 a week or whatever. So I, you know, once I got my law license, I would go downtown and sign up and stand and deliver, you know, and, and be like, you know, uh, you know, I do an arraignment, you know, and if it was, a, it, but I also was smart enough to know that if it was a case that was above like my expertise, then I would bring in people that I knew could handle it efficiently and effectively. And, that, and through that process, I learned a lot. I just sat there and learned a lot, just being the junior guy, like learning from guys who would come before me and, and taking my ego and all of that stuff out of it. Cause I knew that this is where it was, this was going to, one day it was going to eventually make me one of the greats, you know, that you can't be the great just stepping out there, 
you know, thinking that you're the great, you got to learn, you got to learn your craft, you know? And so that's, that, that was my approach, you know, and I, and I, and I, and I share that with people because I, I think you, you, and I'm sure you've seen this, we see a lot of guys who come out and they want to be the guy immediately. And it's like, you know, listen, you can't, you know, you can, you, I mean, very seldom does it happen that somebody is just steps out there and is the guy. You look at Drake, Drake came in up under the wings of little, uh, of, of Lil Wayne and, 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 you know, and Baby and Slim and, you know, he paid his dues. I didn't want to pay my dues initially, but I realized over time, I was like, you know what, you got to humble yourself. You know what I mean? And, 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 cause these guys are sharing with you uh, this information and, and their resources in a way that, you know, they don't share with everybody else. Now, mind you, you're worthy. Cause in my instance, I was a, I was a lawyer too. Right. But that didn't mean I was worthy of the relationships that they were introducing me to or the process that they were introducing me to on how to be successful. And that's what I think a lot of people miss, you know, it's, 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 um, it's one sticking to it, but also, also being humble in your approach and understanding that, you know, it takes time to be great. You can start out, you can want to be great. And it has to start there, but you have, you have to understand being great is a process. It's definitely a process. No, it really, really is. And again, I go back to the journey. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the journey is where you acquire the wisdom. The journey is where you acquire the experience, for good or for bad. As long mm -hmm. as you don't give up, it's called experience. It's not a loss. Yes. That yes. Is, and, and, and that's the difference. And, you know, I, I, I like that you say everybody wants to come out and be, out of nowhere and be the guy, yeah. be the girl. They want to sit at the head of the table. Yep. How do you do that with no experience? How yeah. do you do that? And you haven't hit those bumps in the road yet. You haven't had that trial by fire yet. You know, it's one of the yes. things I watched one of your interviews and I can't remember who it was with Prez. Um, and this is more conversational, right? Cause we, which I love about it. I knew how this, this interview was gonna be like this, but you you, you interviewed, um, damn, I can't remember who it was, but you talked, you brought up Puff in particular. And you, were, you talked about how he's always demonized a lot of times. In my experience in dealing with Puff, he's a very special guy, right? And he's given a lot of people a lot of opportunity. And I think that a lot of times, you know, he's, he's dealt with a lot of jealousy and a lot of people that feel like they can do what he does, but they don't realize, they discredit him and don't realize how much how hard it is to, to really get to where he's at. Like he's, 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 he's had some major challenges he's had to overcome in, in, in life and, and, and through his, his pursuit of excellence, right? And a lot of times I think because, you know, people in our communities tend sometimes think like, oh, well, you look like me and we're in the same age range. So therefore you're not doing anything special. I could do what you can do. And it's, it, just, it just doesn't work like that, man. It, does, it never works like that, right? And um, and so it, it 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 it's it's the same principles, you know, all, all the time. You have to put in your time. You have to put in. You have to humble yourself and be ready to go through, you know, get punched in the jaw, and get back up, and keep fighting. Because if you're not willing to do that, then you're not willing to be great. If you think you're going to step in the ring and just knock out Mike Tyson, you know, when Mike has been training all his life, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're out of your mind. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. naive. So, you know, so. We, we, we live in a culture that glamorizes, I'm a boss. We live in a yes. culture that glamorizes, uh, you know, and Puff might be part of this, uh, you know, as, as, as much as I, I, I love everything you just said, but Puff, mm -hmm. you know, he, sell it, he, he, he has, has crafted this image around celebration and, and uh, affluence. Right. And, you know, so people see the bottle popping, people see yep. the money, people see the private jets and the expensive mm -hmm. cars. But what they don't see, even though that is his brand and we yes. get it, what they don't see are those long, sleepless nights. Yep. All of the many, you know, bumps and bruises and, and, and challenges mm -hmm. that not just a Diddy, but so many others who are now yeah. at the top of the mountain yeah. have taken. How many, you know, times that they probably in, in private have cried or, or yeah. you know, have thought that 
I got nothing, you know, to, to show for all the hard work I'm putting in, even though the facade on the outside looks great. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't know their bank account. We no. don't know all the many bills that they're paying. Yep. For them to, to, to keep going and never give up. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. So, so I pray that somebody who's watching this, get over yourself. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. Get over yourself. Mm -hmm. Be humble. Yep. It's okay to have humility, keep your head low, and just do the work because nothing works like the work. It's <laughs> just <laughs>